Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? What's good? What's good? <clears throat> I want to talk to y'all today about um cyber stalking, man. You heard? Like, I don't really like to really even talk about topics like this, but, you know, just off the strength that, you know, it's, it's like a trending topic in my life right now. You feel me? Um, We're going to just talk about it, man. Just try to get to the bottom of why. You feel me? Like, when it comes to cyber stalking, bro, like, the narcissists, they'll go out of their way to try to find you. Like, I never, like, really looked into, like, the cyber stalking part of the situation because I'm not a type of person that be online or nothing like that. Like, this is my first time around, you feel me? So, for me to see everything that I read about, everything that I heard about, everything that I learned about, the narcissist when it comes to them trying to find you, it's unbelievable to me. Like, like I want to try to put it, put some sense together, man, on the reason of why you would do this. You understand? Like, let me give you an example. If I know that I'm cool with a person, right? I'm going to call this person. You understand? Especially if I feel some kind of way. But see, the person... Can't call me on that type of time because I already know what it is, what it's hitting for. You heard? Like, I don't know what people think. Like, I just be sitting here and I just be like, I'm just sitting here and I'm like, damn. Like, you did all this to get into a situation, to have a baby, to get married or whatever, whatever, right? To still try to find me. Why, bro? Why, bro? Because he don't measure up, right? But see, you knew that shit before you did what you did. The only thing about it that's ironic is the fact that you just thought you was going to have me there while you continued to do what you was going to do and I was just going to accept that shit off the strength of the kids. You ain't think that I was already looking at you in some kind of way, like, but not saying nothing about it. But getting real right on the back end. I'm different than you, bro. Just like right now, if you didn't think that I knew you was going to try to do what you're doing, you're crazy, bro. If you actually think that, now, you know, you know, you know better. You definitely know better. You just trying to be a nuisance. Why, though? What's up with old boy? If anything, I'm the one that got done dirty. I should be chasing you. Trying to find you. Trying to see what's going on with you and all that. I'm not doing none of that shit. Because you toxic, you heard? I don't care what you do. What you pretend to do. What you say. I don't care about none of that shit, homie. I will never fuck with you again. Ever, nigga. I don't give a fuck, nigga. You know, you know the type of person I am, man. I'm very disciplined, man. Very structured, bro. So, I'm a custom. Come on, man. This is me, man. You know this. This is not something you got to guess. You know how I move. So, I guess because you know how I move, I guess you figure, all right, let me play off that. He don't really mind being alone anyway because that's his, that's his type of time anyway. He like to be on his other shit where he chilling and, you know what I mean, out the way and, you know what I mean, like the pop in and pop out type shit. He don't like to be. So he 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 probably, you know, don't mind this. You're rude right now, you heard? For the shit you doing. You a sucker when you know I'm not going to be with you, nigga. I don't care what you do, nigga. You think I'm going to be with you, nigga? I don't care what you do. I'm not going to fuck with you ever again. Nigga, you, you think I want to have to walk all the way down to the basement to come get you to help you raise your vibration up to where I'm at? That's why I didn't get nowhere the whole time we was together, bro. And you was just playing with that shit and just toying with that shit like you had it forever. Nigga, you ain't keep sweat. What's wrong with you? You should know better than that, bro. You misused and took for granted everything that I brought to the table for you, bro. I guess you figure because you trapped me with the first kid, which is in question, bro, by the way, bro, because you knew I wasn't ready to have a kid, bro. 
And this is not the first time that you, it's just with everything taken into consideration with the 2018 situation and then this right here with the having a baby shit and all this crazy shit and all this weird shit. Bro, that shit is in question, homie, because I, you knew I wasn't ready for a kid, nigga. So everything with you is in question, bro. You get no passes. And I'm telling you straight up, you get no passes. I don't care what you do, nigga. You cannot interfere with my happiness. Do you understand like that you're really binded, bro? Every time you do something and make an attempt to do something, it's going to carry over for you times 10, bro. I guarantee you that. You probably feeling it right now. Homie, I don't have time to play with you on this. I'm still going to do me. You know, I'm rock solid, bro. You, I don't care about all that shit. See, the difference between me and you is that I come from a loving home, bro. You heard? Where family spent family time together. So we got the majority of our love and understanding and things that we learned from our parents and our uncles and aunts and all that, you know? You grew up on the fucking internet, you heard? Because your mama was never there for you to give you the love and the nurturing that you need, you heard? So you run to that shit as if the people that's around you is family and this, that, and the third. And No, bro. You understand? This is why you get caught up in the situations that you into right now. Searching for, for love in a world where there's no love available, bro. When I was in your life, you should have kept me in your life, bro. But you didn't want to keep me in your life. You know what you wanted to do? You wanted to bind and tie me up, bro. So you would be able to control me because you know I'm very resourceful. So if you put me in these fucked up, jam you up situations, it's only so much maneuverability that I could do. But if I get all the way the fuck away from you, right? What then? So you panicking right now. You should panic. You're going to panic for the rest of your life because you ain't going to never find another me. I promise you. And I told you that. Not because I think I'm the shit, because I was born in cold, nigga, with a veil over my face, nigga, and was blind for five days when I was born because it had smashed my eyes back. That's why I have all these spiritual gifts, nigga. And that's a family secret, and they got it freeze-dried, and my oldest aunt has it. So when it comes to certain things and certain elements, don't play with, man. Just ride off into the sunset like I hoped you would and I wished you well on. You can still stay around and do whatever the fuck you think you're going to do, but it's only going to backfire on you and hurt you. I promise you. I promise you. Because you know you can't look me in the face because you know everything is in question with our first child. That's what this all boils down to. And based on the way that you moved, that led you into the situation that you into right now, I have every right to question that. Because you forced that on me, nigga. You forced that on me. And if you could force that on me then, right? And wind up, you still living with me and have a baby by another individual, bro, and act like everything is good. See, you thought I was going to still stay where I was at because you didn't know that my resources was the way that it was, you heard? So it fucked you up for you to call me and I'm telling you, oh, yeah, I'm in Connecticut. What? What you doing? In I left, bro. What you mean you left? Yeah, all that. Still got the text messages, all that. Everything, all that. So I don't want to, I don't really care about what you do because I know what the facts are. You understand? What I'm here to do is something different than what you think I'm here to do. But either way, it's not your business because you don't have sight. You're spiritually dead. You understand? You're really an empty meat soup. Exactly what it is. You're just a soup. With no feelings, no emotions. 
no ability to reflect, no ability to do introspection on self, no ability to take accountability for anything that you do. You just want to skate through life on the magic carpet. Ain't no magic carpet. The closest thing to magic that you had, you lost. I'm just wondering how you got time to do all this if y'all together, bro. That's what I'm wondering, bro. You didn't, it is, it wasn't one of them long-term situations, right? Because now you actually got to take care of the baby, right? His mother probably looking at you all crazy, like, why is she not? Because they don't come from that. So now you panicking, you could do whatever you want. It's not in my destiny to be alone, bro. I was alone damn near all my life. Dealing with lower vibrational people that I'm trying to help that never really led me nowhere, bro. I just told my Buddha of a, um, last night that I would never fuck with another low individual indivi a woman ever again in my life. And I won't, bro. If when I walk in a room, her shit ain't comparable to mine. Little above mine. Little below mine. Or at my level. Bro, it ain't no dialing my shit from 5D to 3D. We not doing none of that. I go to I go for I go from 5 to 4.8 or 4.5, but I'm not leaving nowhere past that. You're not even at a 4.3 yet. You're not even at the capability of taking accountability about the things that you've done so you can reflect on what the problem is. That's just being at the base level of being at 3D. Seeking higher consciousness. You still in the lower realms. Looking for mischief. So you stay over there. And that's why you, you gonna stay over there. I'm not worrying about none of that. Trust me. I'm good. When auntie do shit, nigga, we get natural disasters and all that shit. But only one life. Thank God for that. Thank everybody for that. You don't want to tamper with that, man. Just do you. You did me dirty. You wanted to live your life. I didn't interrupt you. Not one time did I call you or try to shake you down from that. And it was a wow. It ain't like we just broke up. It's going on a year and a half since we since we left the town. Why are you why? Ain't nothing that you could. It's over, bro. I had already made that decision in 90 days, you heard? That's it. Boo. Oh, no. I don't even want to do that. So ain't nothing that you could really do, man. Just go over there and sit the fuck down, man. Have a seat, man. Some Starbucks or something. Leave me and my weird kids alone because we going to be good. We family for real, nigga. <laughs> we different. I be you. You be me. Red Cloud TV.